guys and welcome to my youtube channel this is fadila here and today we're going to be doing at my 2017 favorites these are products that i absolutely loved or were on my top choices in 2018 we're going to be doing makeup and skincare so if you guys want to know what were my favorites then please keep on watching okay so there's a whole bunch here um and you'd be surprised what, what's here and what's not actually um we're gonna be starting from like what i would actually do for face like steps through so we're gonna be starting with brows uh primers and we're just gonna go up so first thing is gonna be primer these two right here were my favorite in 2017 the stay matte from rimmel if you guys can see i actually use this pretty much every day until the winter hit this is a it's a matte uh a mattifying primer for makeup base and this kept my face matte, it helped control oils, it just kept my face, it somehow also like filled in pores so my skin always looked smooth and flawless anytime I used it. I really liked this because my makeup lasted really long and it was the only primer I had that mattified the face and didn't make my face feel too matte and at the same time helped my, my makeup last longer. I've tried a lot, but this one and surprisingly is drugstore, really affordable helped a lot and I really like this primer. Another one that I have, have been in love with is the Milani Prime Shield um, primer. This primer right here is a silicone based primer and honestly it does not feel that silicone at all and sometimes some primers actually feel oily too. It did not feel that way and I really like this for the winter because it, it's filled in my pores and somewhat get my face a little bit matte but didn't make me feel too matte and didn't do too much to my face my skin because in the winter I already have dry skin so I don't need my skin feeling a little more dry so it doesn't do that and helps my um, foundation last longer so I really really do love this primer and these two are drugstore can you believe it and I have a lot of high-end primers and these two are drugstore and they're my favorite another one that I really like is this pixie makeup mist right here you can use this this is for setting the face but I use it as a, um, a primer because it's uh, energizing facial water so I use it as a primer but it's, you can also use it as a setting spray and I used to try to use it as a setting spray but it just made my my makeup look dewy and I already have oily skin so I don't like when my face looks glowy or dewy so I like to use it as a primer because anytime I use it on my skin after I put on my regular primer it kind of gives me that nice glow and it kind of refreshes my skin and I really like the way it feels anytime I put it on. It's just a really good um, makeup primer for me. I just really like the way it feels. Um, this is a setting spray. Um, this is a dry cosmetic setting spray and it's my favorite setting spray right now. I really like this setting spray because one, it's not even that expensive. It's at least, I think it's $22. This one has a scent to it and I don't mind it because it, it refreshes. Anytime I use it, it refreshes me. and. It helps my makeup last really long, but it doesn't make my makeup feel um, tight like some setting sprays do. And it's just a really good setting spray. I really like this setting spray. It's a really good setting spray. And I actually recommend this. This is my favorite setting spray right now. Okay, moving on to brows. My favorite brow product, hangs the hands down so far, is this L'Oreal Paris Brow Stylist product right here. It's a powder. And I don't know what this is actually supposed to be used for, but I only use the powder. And as you can see, I have a dent in there. And ever since I started using this every day, my brow game has been on point. It's really easy to use, really affordable. My brow just looks so much better ever since I started using this. And the best thing is, it lasts. Your brow would last all day without actually getting budged or anything because I used to put my brow on and you guys already know I have my tails are one is shorter than the other so within like three hours the other one is just cleaned up and then my face looks like a freaking it's just not it's, it's not cute with this one it lasts all day so I have my tails on there and it's not gonna move it's not gonna budge it's just a really good brow product this thing is bomb so for concealers, hands down my favorite concealer is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. These are only like three or four dollars each, and they are creamy, really easy to use because of the 
fact that they, they come with brushes on the top they're really easy to use and they just they've just been my favorite from like for a year and a half or two years now beginner friendly and they're just like one of the best concealers out there hands down period another one that i really like from the drugstore is the wet and wild concealers these are like almost the same as my nars concealers which is also another favorite of mine these are like they come in a smaller bottle and just there's, there's less product in there creamy beautiful finish radiant finish really easy to blend it just blends perfectly as you can see my highlight is looking really nice it's a really beginner friendly concealer it's really great to use and i really like it and the best part is, is it's cruelty free which i actually love and i really I, it's just a good concealer i really like this one same goes to the nars radiant creamy concealers these are a little bit expensive they're like 22 dollars each very creamy very easy to use beginner friendly really great concealers and honestly hands down these are like the two best concealers out there period great coverage great coverage and the only thing i love more about this that isn't in here is it has like a radiance to it so i really like this one the same way with this one this one doesn't have i don't think it has radiance to it but it's a great concealer okay so for foundation as you guys can see right here i've experimented with a lot of foundation but i have my top three best foundation so far and two are from the drugstore fenty beauty foundation i i just went team fenty i just went team fenty the moment they, they just launched with 40 shades i just went mm -mm. team fenty and then i tried these you guys already know my struggle i started with 400 oh, wish i didn't and then i ended up with 420 i think this is 420 and this foundation gives you a nice flawless finish it's not full coverage it's like medium buildable coverage it's matte but it gives you that nice natural look and it lasts a good t amount of time it doesn't last you 20 or 16 hours but it will last you most of the time i just use it for like nice occasions because it's a really nice foundation and it's pricey and i'm not going to use it for every day here i did a review on it which is the truly matte foundation this one is full coverage and it's a really beautiful finish it actually gives you a really natural finish even though it's full coverage which is so weird and i really like this foundation because it will last you all day you wouldn't oils will not breathe through until like about six to seven hours it's a really beautiful foundation silicone based perfect foundation i really like this but it's full coverage so you got to be careful and a little goes a long way the only thing that sucks about this is shade ranges suck so i have to mix three i have to mix two shades together to get my own shade but it's beautiful because i also use this one right here for under eye and it's a perfect I just it's a perfect foundation i haven't heard a lot of people talk about which is weird because this foundation is a really good foundation this is the what is this found nourishing liquid foundation this is a drugstore foundation but it's actually i think it's a 12 dollar or 14 dollar found 14 dollars foundation pretty expensive for drugstore but i tell you when i say that it's so worth the money I think the money actually matches the product because when I bought this, I bought it to review it, but I was expecting it to flop because it has, it's made with raspberry oil and oil hands down does not work with oily skin. I do use some products with oil with it in it, but when it comes to foundation, I try to stay away from anything with oil, but I'm actually wearing this right now. First off, this is the darkest shade, so their shade range sucks, but this shade matches me so well that it's it's ridiculous and this is in the shade 180 it's kind of sad that that's the darkest shade and it lasts 24 hours i'm telling you i wore this for 24 hours didn't even have to blot how weird is that we move it doesn't move it's it just has a beautiful finish natural finish it's like medium to full coverage depending on how you use it it's actually almost full coverage and it's only it's twelve dollars so for drugstore it's expensive but for the product i think it's so worth it so for the eye um i'm going to be talking about my eyeliner right here this liner is the gg hadid eyeliner it's a black eyeliner and um i've tried a lot of eyeliners i actually have favorite eyeliners but for drugstore nothing comes close to this that i know of this eyeliner is black 
because of the felt tip it's so easy to use and you, i get like the sharpest the sharpest um liners or the sharpest wings oh come on focus focus and it's just a really easy uh, and really really affordable eyeliner and i really like this this is one of this this is one of the only two things that came up out of the collection that was actually good the eyeshadow you know what the whole collection was actually a freaking joke but this liner came out really nice and i really like it and i actually recommend this don't sleep on this it's probably one of the best eyeliners in the drugstore that i know of thing is the shayla collection mascara now i like this because it's a black mascara it's really black it's volumizing and i really like it and i've been using it a lot but at the same time they claimed volume period and it it volumized my lashes but doesn't do like a crazy volumizing like a it's not crazy volumizing it's it's just regular mascara that volumizes period so i really like this mascara because it gives me a really nice lash but honestly i didn't get any really crazy volumizing from this so i give it a bad review but i really like it to one of my favorite mascaras um for eyeshadow i'm gonna go in with two of my favorites the first one is the la colors eyeshadow palettes this palette is only about eight dollars and it's one of my favorite drugstore eyeshadow palettes um this is from la colors again and these things are so they're really pigmented but they're a little bit powdery which is not very fun but they are pigmented and I really like them and I'm, I'm obsessed with them because not a lot of drugstore pro uh, palettes are that good. But Maybell if you go to Maybelline, you can get really nice ones too. Like that I think was one of the best 2018 eyeshadow launches was this Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette right here. This is the Des Desert Dusk palette. Um, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. I already lost that right here, but that's fine. I actually made a look out of this palette right here. And I like I like that it comes in with different products. It comes with eyeshadow toppers, it comes with shimmer shades, it comes with metallic shades, it comes with matte shades, and it comes with a big beautiful mirror. And the best part is it's really easy to blend. You can make a lot of looks from this palette. And it's just a beautiful, a really beautiful palette. And I really love this. It's really, it's just been the palette that has been my go-to for special occasions. For contouring, I have, I've had two favorites. The first one has been this, this Fenty Beauty stick right here. This is what it looks like. It's in the shade Espresso. And I have really been enjoying this contour stick it's really easy to use just because it's, it's a stick that's the only reason why i like it so much because the stick like it's a little bit tricky to blend so you have to be careful with that but it's great i really like this product now another thing that i really do love and i just got is the stila um contour palette this is what it looks like and I, I've been using this because it's winter and my skin is dry. So I try to use a lot of dewy stuff instead of matte because if I use anything matte, it's just going to look crazy. So I've been using this right here. It's a, a creamy product. Nothing is easier to blend than this thing. This thing is too easy to blend and I really like it. For powder, um, hands down 2018 best products that I really liked was this one right here, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This thing has worked for me so well and at the same time has disappointed me. I don't know what it is, but when I use this, I either get a really flawless finish or I just look hands down old and cakey. I don't know what it is in here. It's just a mixed thing for me, but I really like this product because it's one of the best powders out there that I know of. And the only funny thing is that it's only $6. So it's a really great powder and I really like it. For bronzers... I you I don't even have to say I just pfft. these two are the only bronzers that I pretty much own. There's that show up on my skin tone from the drugstore and from the high end or Sephora. Period. I don't know why. It's really sad, really, but this is the Cover Queen from Cover Girl, and this is the Bobbi Brown bronzer in the shade Deep Four. Really warm, and they have the red undertones, which I really like. And anytime I put them on, I just feel like. Because they almost kind of match my regular skin tone. So even if I do, I make any mistakes with my makeup, when I put this on, it just kind of corrects everything and brings it back to yes.
So I really like these bronzers. They're really pretty. It gives me the, the a really flawless finish, and I just I just really I'm obsessed with these bronzers. I have a lot of blushes, and I use a lot of blushes. But my favorite blushes is this gonna be my sleek. Actually, the, all the sleek blushes that I own are just my favorite blushes. I've had a lot of them. But they always end up seeing every pop blush I try seems either powdery or shimmery. And I cannot use anything shimmery because I'm oily skin. Powdery just doesn't look pretty. So these blushes right here, they just like the prettiest blushes. They have beautiful finishes. They're actually made for women of color. So the pigment, you can you know not to go in. Pumpkin 363 because you have the pink right here, the orange right here, and then the shimmer right here. I I really like this one right here because it's just a really pretty color, especially the orange. I don't know what it is with orange, but it looks really pretty on darker skin tones, and I really like this palette. I have a lot of favorite highlighters back there, but I've only had them for a week or two, so I don't really want to show them. But something that I did have for a really long time is this... Revolution Makeup Revolution London Strobe Highlight and it's all broken up. You guys have already seen this. It's only $10, okay? And it gives you that really subtle highlight or it's a buildable highlight. It's a creamy, beautiful, easy to use highlight. It's not too intense or too overpowering. Miss A wins when it comes to lashes. I, I just love that they're just $1 and they give you really nice, beautiful, and they're cruelty free, which is amazing. I love that. And I love, I actually really like the styles Luella and Alexis. I'm actually wearing Luella right now. This is a really long, it's a really long lash. It's, you can see in the camera, but this thing is all the way up here. Okay. But honestly, they're really pretty, really um, dramatic. And I really like them. This one right here, which is the Becca Cosmetics lip gloss. My sister actually stole this from me. So I hadn't seen it for a very long time. So, ha okay. So... This was hands down my favorite lip product period. I have a lot of lip products as you guys can see, but I was I used to not use them because all, the only thing I was comfortable using was this one right here, which is a pink lipstick or lip gloss. It's the, in the shade Autumn Punch, and I really liked this lip gloss and I was using it every single time. And then my little sister stole it, and because of that, I was forced to look for other options. And then I ended up with this one right here, which is the Becca Cosme oh, the Urban Decay, <laughs> the Urban Decay lip gloss in the shade. Okay, well I can't find the shade. It's a brown color. It's a brown lip gloss. I really like this because I put on like a, a pink lipstick or like a, a really pink any color really, and then I just put this on top of it to make it look more natural and less intense and i really like the way this finishes and it's a gloss and because i have dry lips especially during the winter glosses work well for me so i really liked this one right here and then one that did launch is the fenty beauty lip gloss right here i love this lip gloss it's, it's one of the best lip glosses out there it's not sticky it's just glossy and shimmery not sticky at all smells really good and the best part is i really like the applicator it just makes putting on the glass really easy and i think that completes the whole makeup department okay so i had to you know come back again apparently i didn't notice how long the video was so i'm gonna be separating the videos into two so best of 2017 skincare and best of the two and best of 2017 makeup so yeah thanks for watching this first half which is the makeup half and please stay tuned for the second half which is the skincare half so that's it for my favorite products you guys i hope you guys like this video and so if you guys like the video please like subscribe and hit notification bell so you guys can get notification anytime i upload and sub and please share this video so everyone else can see so that the family can grow and that's it for the video thank you so much for watching you guys and thank you so much for your support and i will see you guys in the next video Stay beautiful.